Greetings. Once again, my dear friends, welcome back to Still Wakes the Deep. Um, it's been a while. Great, I can pick up a bucket. That probably means there's something horrible in here. But there's fire that I need to deal with first. Um, I've already had some controller related issues due to the fact that I've moved my PC into a different room. That'll happen. Sometimes, you know, new location for your equipment. may sometimes mean that something is different. But so far so good. Anyway, let's get to this. Why... Kaz, why are you running everywhere you're going, mate? You don't need to, I don't think, yet. There we go. Ah, shit. That had to happen. Okay. Well, at least he's not inexplicably running. I know we need to get down this leg. But... Sort it at the fuse box and it'll keep short now. Right. Um what's that mean for me right now and here? So I have had one thought. Ok, 
shy. Ah, other side. <laughs> Not that way then. <coughs> Unless I wonder, can this be done? Oh no no! Um Fuck. It's soaking. I need to sort it out of the fuse box or it'll keep shorting out. Okay. This is going to kill me. Poor Kaz. He's having a terrible, terrible time with it tonight. <coughs> Okay, so the fire that I put out to get down here has just turned itself back on, as fires will do from time to time. That was a close one. Come on. Christ, that was close. It wasn't. It wasn't remotely close. Not really. I think this is, in all honesty, probably the way you meant to do this. So I think after this we can get one more use of ah, you're on it. Fuck. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> one more use of button. So it should be down. Fuck. It's soaking. I damn need to sort it out of the fuse box and it's okay. Um in that case. Oh, I think I see where we what we have to do here. Okay. Yes, this isn't at all concerning. Not remotely. Um, 
Okay. So, can't go past someone's mangled carcass. So, it's looking like we have to do the leap off of here. There we go. Maybe I'll take that advice and not look down. Can we swing back the other way, please? Thank you. Jesus, ah. Ah. Okay. Down, 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 down. Now, over here. And up. Ah. Now turn off the fire. Ah, much better. Much better. Miss Train, Brody must have done like see. Good on you, Brody. Okay, so this looks like the fuse it needs to know. It's not. It's okay. We're going this way then. I'm sure I've said it before, but it's a really nice touch that he crawls along those pipes. Because you would. Well, I would anyway. Ah, other <laughs> side. If you can climb a ladder, wander around to the other side of it. You're so good with the lackey, Kaz. Um, yeah. Jeebus, that's mildly terrifying. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll bring it back up then. one of those I need to wander out onto it as it's going past bits. There we go. Now down here. 
Something horrible will happen. No? Nothing horrible is happening yet. Come on. Give me something horrible. Come on, game. It's saving it for down the bottom of leg A, isn't it? <coughs> oh, thank Christ. It is. Okay. Attention leg winch A. Attention manual reset procedure. Installation manager must be notified of any changed attention leg winches. I don't think Rennick's in much of a position to... Uh... Yeah. No unauthorized personnel. Capsize hazard. Yeah, I can't see how this can possibly go wrong or badly. Remove the safety lockout pin, reactivate winch mechanism. Alrighty. Okay, back to the winch controls. Fucking understatement. I've done the first cable. You need to do the same in leg B through the pontoon. Right. See you on the other side, Kaz. Hope so, pal. Fucking hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Low headroom. Great. It's another wee dead body. Oh. Fuck. How many more bodies are there? Jesus. It'd be funny if there's more dead people in the game than there were crew on this oil rig. That would amuse me greatly. There's going to be something horrible and fleshy down here that I'm going to have to hide and Hello? run away from. Christ, the creepy as fuck down here. You're not wrong there, Kaz. Creepy as fuck is a great way of describing this place. Ah! Hey! Dead people. Really should have been keeping count. Oh well. Also, that might be a disturbing thing to do.
fuck, fuck. <sighs> Right. Well, that was fun. Don't see oh there's another that was another dead person. And now we're out of the terrifying drowning situation. I don't necessarily do well with not being able to breathe. Shit. Danger sign. Danger. Explosive hazard. Strictly no smoking. In the event of drill string rupture, this area will collect petroleum overflow and must be evac evacuated immediately. That sounds wonderful. water pissing out from there. That's really not good. No, no, I do not want to go in there. Fuck. Right? Debris screen. Beer a D pontoon sump slash bill. Warning danger to life. Debris screen must be raised before maintenance can be performed. Lever must be fully engaged. Warning debris screen entrapment hazard. That sounds lovely. Debris screen, beer a D pontoon, some slash bilge, warning danger, yeah, same exact wording. Okay. Um. Right. 
I hope that was fully engaged. Otherwise, I might be slightly screwed. <coughs> when I come down here. Ah, uh, great. Another horrible underwater, possibly drowny bit. Oh, ladder. Thank you, ladder. Come on. It pays to read safety signs. If I didn't pay attention to those signs, I might not have known that there was danger to life. I don't know. Oh shit. Great. Christ. Very glad I looked up the way I did when I did, though. screwed am I? I don't know yet. More screwed than I would like to be. Yes, definitely more screwed than I would like to be. <laughs> ah, fun. Fun times. Love the drowning. Need to that was close. Stay ahead of the water. 
that's all. As you do in any situation where you're about to drown. Ah, <sighs> criminy. in the wall there just makes me think that there should be a gaping dragon about to come out. But of course this is not that. Probably a good thing. This game's horrible enough without Locked. adding horrible demons into the mix as well. Yes, 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 yes. I know. Hard to breathe. Catch your breath. Now down you go. There we go. Ah, so good, lad. You can do this, Kaz. Just follow the yellow. Screaming, I bet it was Brody. I reckon it's just going to be Kaz and Finley getting off this thing if Kaz makes it off at all. Finley, though, she's a tough old boot, she'll survive anything. A nuclear, a nuclear apocalypse could erupt on her forehead and she'd be fine. She's just that sort of person. That being said, she'll probably die as well. Now we've got lots of fleshy nonsense again. Uh, hello? Connor, mate, you're in a shite way, dude. Anything about Mary? Most of the fleshy nonsense. It's not my doing, alright? Just isn't, I tell ya. Great, more fleshy. I have got to get the fuck out of here.
Okay. Crawl along that. Okay, there is. Get this fucking over with. Okay, tension leg winch B. Same as the other one. Can't believe my luck. as we're gonna get. Bye bye, nonsense. To accommodation. Okay, All right. Stone, that's cold. Jesus. The Trollerman from Twelve Coastal Poems by Craig Henry Campbell, <coughs> 1893 to 1975. From o'er the fullmount huddled close together and flock against the winter brain, black shine the stone of echoed sounds, home to yellow lights of trollers strayed and bound. By heavy midnight calm upon the shoals of cold north singing, old beer as grip upon the tiller down below the faded boards and hand smooth tokens speak of scrabbles lost and won. The morning watcher turns her gaze to see where turns spill the clouds and her charges some the lumber on beneath their blankets spun of shingled home. We do not mesh, miss you, precious winds, though as we sleep waves break the bow, though storms gather beneath the brow of winter, and woollen gathers now the clouds, and still wakes the deep, and still on we plough. Well, that's where they got the title of the game from. Oh, heater. Just what I needed. Out of this. 
this fucking place. I need to get him. Thank Christ. I better check on Roy. I hope you do get Haim. To Suze and the girls. Oh, that's where I came in. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I'm getting out that way. Roy, fuck's sake. Oh, God, my son, the Lord. I've been worried sick. I'm sorry, pal. I've been over the shop since I last seen you. What's going on, Cass? What happened with the chopper? I can't try to go with this, but... Well, didn't he work out well for him or the bird? Aye, I saw Finlay. We had to get the jennies on. And Brody as well, helping with the tension legs. Do you know what? I'm a fucking rig expert now. <laughs> Told you to take no time. Yeah, I'm glad you've not been alone out there. Uh, those two are all right. I saw O'Connor. He's one of these things, but... I thought... Oh, fuck, I don't know what I thought, but... Whatever it is, folk are being turned into. There's something of them still in there. What's going on? Roy? Uh, it's, it's all right. Um, uh, it's just me being clumsy. I want to get my shot. I'll be right. It's right. Do you need me to come and get you? No, no, I can do it. Uh, you saw this rig out? And the way to get us home. See you girls. All right? Hi. You're a good lad, Kaz. That's why Suze loves you. And she does, you know. She really loves you. Kaz? Aye. Sorry, I have to go, Roy. Will you make it to the cabins all right? Yeah, I'm on the way now. You, uh, be on yours. Huh. I'm praying for you, mate. Remember, Jesus loves you, Kaz. Everyone else thinks you're a god, man. <laughs> all right, pal. Efters. Is that you? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this one's trying to give me a kick in the all. Gonna be a wee boxer, eh? Aye, uh, you wish. I wish I could see you. You're beautiful like this. Aye? Well, I feel like an elephant. Christ, what is this? Suze! Suze? Uh, Kaz, you're not in a good way. One spark and fuck. Ah. One spark and that might be how we take the thing out. If it's possible. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is happening? 
happening to me? Absolutely nailed this Cut. damn game. Cut. Over here, Brody. Brody, fucking hell, how you doing? Better than you, by the looks of it. Did you see any others? You mean anyone alive? I spoke to Roy. He's not doing great with his insulin. <coughs> no idea where Finley is now. I spoke to her a few minutes ago. She's stuck until she gets past Rennick. Or what used to be Rennick. Mm. Feels like everybody's deed or worse. I don't know about your side of the pontoons, but where I was, the oil tanks are burst, and I think there's a gas leak. I mean, <laughs> I'm looking for a fucking bright side here. Well, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, all right? Right now, we have to deal with the stack. Oh, that noise! Shit. Aye, okay. All right, the stack. I'm kind of thinking the flare shouldn't be looking like that. No. The main feed's ruptured. It's burning out. It could get worse. And if it does, it could spread to the derrick and cause an explosion. Right, so we're fucked. Huh. Again. <laughs> the flare onto the auxiliary gas pipe. If you go over to the processing quad, I Wait, can... What? Have you seen it out there? Oh, aye, it's quite nice in here. You know, maybe we should swap. You can't walk the controls, Kaz. Otherwise, I, of course, I'd go myself. Christ. All right, all right. What am I doing? You need to get there and find the diverter valve, main to the auxiliary. It's on the middle floor, flare side. I'll ignite the stack from here. Right. If I can't do it, then you'll need this. Jesus. I'll be on the tannoy if you need any help. Good luck, guys. Uh. Brody dug the radio out, but no signal, no fucking nothing. You know what we have to do. This is our fucking problem. F. Huh. Alrighty. deal with the dare again.
side. I'm waiting the clearing. Well, fun. This looks like it. Okay, okay. yes, flare up the uh, hazard warning. Uh, what was that again? Must remain lit at all times to bury excess inflammable gases. In the event of main ga gas line damage, the gas divert valve which switch will switch flow to the auxiliary gas line. Auto ignition should occur after the use of the gas divert valve. In the event of igniter failure, the gas flare must be manually relit immediately. Which I bet is going to have to happen. Guys, I can see the feed switch in here. Glad you're alright. I've started the igniter. Give it a sec. Uh, can't see of course you can, because I'm not that fucking lucky. <laughs> no, it's not working. The gas is pulled back toward the rig. I'm sorry, Kaz. I need you to do it manually. It's too dangerous to leave it. You'll have to head out onto the stack and use the relighter again. Of course. Fuck. Did you hear me, Kaz? Wave or something so I know you're receiving. Prick. Yeah. Understood. Godspeed. Speed, speed. <laughs> uh, at least Brody understands basic sign language. Ah, no way through. No way through except for the way through that you can make with your screwdriver. Jesus, you're fucking joking me! Oh. Shit. 
I'm doing it. Pieces. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I'm not being difficult. I'm just trying to pick up the pieces of your mess. Hey, wouldn't he let it go, okay? He's carried a fucking torch for you since school. He's always hated me for being the bigger man and for having you and those beautiful fucking wings. Oh, no. Bigger man. You are shitting me, McLean. You're the bigger man. Do you think your daughter's got more brains and bigger bars than you have? What about the kids? The flat's in your name. You go to Berlin and they just take it away. Listen, Suze, come on! No, no, you just you shut it, McLeary! You sit your arse down and you, you just listen to me! How could we not just talk about this? Because I am smarter than you, that's why! And I will not, I will not let you drag those girls down with you. You sort this! Whatever you have to do, I don't care! You sort this or I will leave you, you understand? Suze, look, I'm really sorry. Has just enough okay? Get out my sight. Try not to put anyone else in hospital today, yeah? That might make a nice change for you. I didn't mean that. Why do you have to. Ah, Suze. Jesus ah, Christ. Sh oh, fuck! Jeez! That's some. Um... Well done. Ah, you bastard. <sighs> That's a horrible situation to be in. No going up that way. Kaz is limping now. Looking at his feet. His right foot is uh, a little wounded. Can he get this one open? No chance. I'm trying to pick up the pieces of your mess. Oh no, now he's back to normal, I think. Walked it off. To me. This whole situation has gone, I believe the correct phrase is, tits up. Nonsense. We love our fleshy nonsense. So fleshy and nonsensical. It's awesome. Ah. Grease. 
Least Scotsman achievement. Fair enough. Christ, Raph's mate. What a mess. If you read this, I'll meet you in engineering. I did my bet. Your plan better work. Last chance, F. to engineering again. Feels like I need to make haste. Note from Brody, Finley, no way through, engineering is full of oil, we can do this, I don't want to give up, we can get out, we lost Kaz, but we can sort this out, don't do anything stupid, Brody. You didn't lose me, I'm right here, fellas. Or, you know, fella and Finley. Although she's one of the fellas, really. Sake. Finley, Jesus Christ. Cleary, how the fuck are you no dead? I thought I was. <laughs> to help. Christ, can anything help? Aye, if we can cut ourselves loose and quick like, it'll buy us time, maybe enough. Do we even know if anyone's coming? We've been off radio for hours, so I, I should hope so. Finley. Good. Let's... Cats? I thought... Aye, aye. He's a walking, greeting miracle. Are we doing this or no? Aye. We float the rig. I'll dive down, release the tension cables. Hopefully we balance out, maybe end up higher in the water. I'll need you both in marine control. That's right. Hello, can anyone hear me? I'm stuck up. It's so fucking hot on the accommodation roof. I don't know how long I can last without insulin. He's up on the roof. I have to get him. No. Is anybody out there? You have to get to marine control with Finlay. Please. It's a two-man job and we don't have much time. You think Roy does? Can't I just leave him? I promised I'd get him home. Ah, let him go. Fine. If you want to go, go. But this place... It's filling up with gas and oil from the drill to the derrick. God knows where else it's leaking to. I can't recommend it. I know, Brody. But I'm going. I have to. Engineering's your only path up there, and it's flooded, so you'll have to swim. Ah, oh, great. It's a long way. Plan each step. And if you're underwater, stay calm. <laughs> oh, aye, that's exactly how that'll go. Enough! You both know what you're doing, so let's go. Right, yeah, Brody. Roger, oh, never all right, McLeary. I'm coming, Roy. I'll find you. Great, more um, more underwatery shot. My favouritest of things. <laughs> Okay. 
medium. Interestingly enough, I'm not hating this whole section. It's kind of fun. But mostly being horrible underwater section. Which, I mean, they usually suck in most games. This one's done it actually pretty well. Especially with Sparky McSparkington going off there. Okay. Fuck. I'm just following the cable at this point. And it worked, but it's also yellow, so, you know, follow the yellow brick road, I suppose. that way then but that's fine
though. Maybe the problem is simply that. No. Again, nightmare. That's got to be real. Come on, guys. Come on, keep it together. For fuck's sake. Well, it's uh, a little bit disturbing around. the situation he's found himself in. That's for damn sure. Not the least of which being the uh, constant hallucinations about Sue's. What the hell's going on there? <sighs> There's the phone. In all honesty, the uh, constant Sue's chatter is reminding me of uh, Dead Space. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Don't then play Dead Space or watch a playthrough of it, whatever you prefer. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Came from there. Okay, so the crew lounge. That is some weird shape, man. Sick. 
Crew Lounge is looking less Christmassy and more Cthulhu messy. Uh, very horribly yeah not the sort of bathroom you really want to ever find yourself in under any circumstances Says. Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay. Great. Oh, Jesus. Another crapped up bathroom. Last. That's unpleasant. The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Fucking poor bastard. Another couple of corpses. What the hell? How did they get like that? Christ, the trolls do this. Well, someone's arms off. His, probably. Roof access. But it's so close. Locked. 
me. <clears throat> Get this one open. No chance. Jesus. Well, I've just visited every enterable cabin in the game. Roy's insulin is here. Fluffy mackerel pudding. Okay. Better get Roy's insulin to Roy so that he can not die. What's the bet Roy's dead by the time we get to it? Roy! He up here! Roy! Jesus, it's moving out of the other place. Talk to me, big man. Come on, come on, Roy. Roy, wake up, you prick. Please wake up. Wake up, come on. Oh, you bastard. Don't leave me here. Please, big man, come on, back. Christ, don't leave me. Roy, don't leave me. I can't do this, man. I'm scared, Roy. I'm fucking terrified. What am I going to tell Susan? <laughs> Damn it, Roy. I mean, she's going to fucking kill me, man. You know? Oh, she's going to kill you anyway, Kaz. She loved you, big man. She really loved you. So did my girls. I mean, what were we going to tell them? <laughs> oh, sorry. Your Uncle Roy's not coming home. Aye, I know. Me and Ollie. I love this big man, do you hear me? 
jawabnya Damn it, Roy. At least he died warm. Who's this? Finley, Kaz. You got to know it's good. Look, Kaz, the water's up to admin, so I couldn't get to marine control. You need to try and get there from where you are, all right? Jesus. Aye. And that English bastard better come and off. You can't stay in that hut forever, no? Kaz? Kaz, you still there? And you're no shouting, I start to worry like. Huh. Roy, make a fuss. Put him on. I'll get him tail. Guys. For fuck's sake, what's going on? No, he's no coming. Ah, oh, Jesus. God. Did I not make it? No, it's too late. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, guys. No. We all love the big man, eh? I let him do it. He was relying on me. No, no. No, you did everything you could. You would buy for him. None of this is your fault. It's not anyone. Look, I'm sorry, Kaz, but we need your help here. We're all fucking good doing otherwise. Aye. I want half this fucking wreck. Good. That's if you need fair. To find a way across the deck, get to marine control room. Call me when you get there, and I'll talk you through it. All right? Right. Just done look right. <laughs> it looks awesome, but it does not look right. Whoa, shit. Fleshy tentacle of doom. I think I went a bit too far with the sidling. Ah. Fuck! Oh, oh, oh. Down. 
long way to fall. Fortuitous lining up of the other end of this very precarious whole section of potential doom. state-of-the-art computers. Jesus, fuck. Rope. No you at all. Nice and slow. It's all right. I just need to make a call. Yeah? Aye. Right. Here we go. First off. Christ, it's way above my pay grade, this. Warning, these switches are intended for emergency use only. Tension leg cable controls must be disabled before using these switches. Ensure all personnel have left pontoon areas before using these switches. Pretty sure they probably have. It's a fucking spaceship. I'm not touching anything Finley doesn't tell me to. Probably a good idea. Any chance? Better call Finley. Ah, oh, there's the damn phone. Finley? <clears throat> I'm at Marine Control. I'm, uh, I'm not alone. Fuck! Is it that bastard Lenick? No, no, no. Jesus. Jesus. It's, it's Roper. He's all messed up. Gas, listen to me, all right? Listen. All right. We need to keep it together. All right, just tell me what to do. There's only two switches. You just have to find them. First, find the ballast operations panel. There'll be a switch to put it into manual control. You flip that switch. Manual. Go do that, and then I'll talk you through the next part. All right? Aye, all right. I'll look for it. Seek. 
more to the point, where is the key? there's a key. It'd have to be a key if there's a lock. Any chance? Better call Finley. Maybe it's in here. Any chance? Better call Finley. I would really like to keep Rennick away, because he's a great big ugly head monster. Is it manual? What's next? Now you flood the forward pontoon and I mean flood it to the fucking brim. Hold on a minute. The pontoons are already fucked full of oil and gas. This might push it all up to the deck. We don't have a choice. The whole rig could tip over. Flooding that pontoon will at least give us a fighting chance. What about Brody? Is he no down there? He'll be out of there by now. He's done his part. We just have to do it all. Right? Alright. It's coming for me. Keep him away. What was that? It's Roper. Never mind him. Flood the former pontoon. Aye, aye. Hang on. That's done. Now what? That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on, what? It's moving. Did it work? Fucking aye. See, not the hope was after all, eh? Oh, thank Christ, Finley. What now? Brody's got a plan. Meet us in drill ops as soon as you can. Okay, I'll meet you there. We're going to be all right, Cass. I fucking hope so. Alrighty. Roper. No roping me, buddy. I'm trying to help, or at least get the fuck off this rig. So going to take a very brief break 
to get more caffeine. I shall return. Alright, let's get back to it then. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> You're not having a good time. Let's just put it that way. We're all going through there. This whole situation is just getting worse and worse by the man. Drill ups I need to be, isn't it? I can't go that way. No, 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 no. Shite. That was close. Well, crap. I guess Rennick. Maybe that dude. Whatever the hell he was. Damn, there's too much water in this ocean. Weird, twisted, freaky hallway with fleshy nonsense. Door. Next to fleshy nonsense. Mm hmm. Door locked. Twisted, fleshy nonsense hallway it is. We are going to have to swim through even better. <sighs> okay, so that's just a temporary breath hole. Yeah, this is not at all disconcerting. <clears throat> Just 
just excuse me for a moment. Apologies, I had something caught in my throat. What you got for me, Finley? Shush! What's... Well, they're not on this rig, and neither are you, Suze, so what the Jeez. hell's going on? Ooh, listen to every optional phone call. Okay. Damn water's going round opening doors on me now. <clears throat> okay, more fleshy nonsense hallway time. Horrible flesh beasts, not a problem. The fleshy nonsense in the hallways, spooky, adds to the atmosphere, not really all that scary. Even Rene, who is obviously out to eat me, more annoying than terrifying, but all this drowning shit. It's all the drowning shit, all the underwater stuff, that's where it gets me. What <laughs> the hell? <coughs> Just put me right in front of Renek. Absolutely will, Renick. Flippin' act, buddy. After all, you were just trying to kill me. So you can get royally rooted. My friend. Oh, Jesus. Also, you Jesus, fired me, was... so fuck yourself sideways. <laughs> Rest in peace, you cunt. Christ. I've got you have fuck over here. <clears throat> Rennick is dead. Thank buggery Jim for that. I knew he'd have to come back, because of course he'd have to come back. But, uh, yeah. Finley, thank fuck. Finley? What's going on? Who are you talking to? Finley! 
Kaz, you made it. Brody, what's wrong with Finley? She's freaked out here. Listen, Kaz. There's no much time. There's oil and gas getting in here. <coughs> but kills, it will be headed right up the drill pipe. What are you on about? I'm still in the pontoons. Uh, I've only got a couple of minutes. I can't stop it. The rig's a time bomb now. You understand? One spark and... You need to find a way off. Just get back up here and we'll work it out, yeah? I can't do that. What? I can't get back up. No way. I'm sorry. Wait, listen. You're on your own now. I'll come to you. All right? No, you won't. You wouldn't even get halfway to me. The legs flooded and the gas... It, it's no possible. You got your dive gear? Aye. So you can use that? It's oil, Kaz. There's nothing to be done. I don't fucking see that. I knew the rest when I came down here. Fuck. Can I lose you as well? Listen, I'm all right, Kaz. I'm... I'm already back on Sky. <laughs> You've never seen water like that, Kaz. Clear. Peaceful. You just let go and everything's fine. Hi. That sounds beautiful. You go one day. <laughs> All right. No, oh, fuck that. I'm never swimming again <laughs> after this. <laughs> Kaz, you and Finley, you could do this. All right. I'm sure she wouldn't do something so stupid. Brody, you there? Cut. What's stupid? Talk to me. It's getting higher. All right, I'm here, Brody. I'm not going anywhere. All right, I'm here. Get him. Brody. Oh, fuck. Brody. Jesus. Now, Finley. It doesn't fucking matter. He's deep and you don't think that matters. He was always gonna die. Boy, them. Always. You see that? We don't fucking about with the lakey and pontoons. And we thought, I won't be able. Watch new pals turn into monsters. Never once. Never fucking once. Have we tried to do what needed to be done? Can't do it, alright? What do you mean? I'm Blow up the ring. I'm in the nest. Fuck you. Finally. No. Come back. Finally! She's going to nuke the site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Finally! Wait a minute! Jesus! Yep. Come back! You're not thinking straight! Honestly, I'm with Finlay. There's, uh... There comes a time when you just gotta say, fuck it, kill it with fire. And that's... about now. Actually, it's... about three or four hours ago, really. Find a way out, come on! Fucking get yourself, it says I'm not in!
Finally! Did say it had been Finley! down to. Arson Finley in the end. Said it yourself. Christ, God. We don't want them coming. Oh, Jesus! I'm sorry, Father. I don't know what to do. <laughs> There's nothing you can do for her. face it, cuz. She's toast. Ah! We can't get back. We can't. But I can't. There's no going to stop with us. Fuck's sake, McCleary. For once to your life. Be brave. Be brave for them. You can't save yourself. But you can't save him. Jesus, Finlay. You want to leave it a chance? Oh. If it gets to the mainland. Oh. You know I'm right. Yeah, she is. Fleshy nonsense. Fleshy nonsense all around. Fleshy nonsense everywhere. <coughs> Recognize me, do you? No, sorry, love. You know me. You could say that. It's been a long time, though, Kaz. Hold up, Susan Lafferty. Fuck's sake, is that you? The very same. Christ, Kaz, but you look no different. I've still got the nose, eh? <laughs> well, looks like someone did a good job of spreading it about your face. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, the big man a drink? Jesus, Cass. Because I really want to be thinking about Roy right now. <laughs> Jesus. He looks after me. He fucking adores you, you know. Well, I am easy to love, Cameron McCreary. Yeah. I'm finding that. Shut up, great Suki Jim. I do, though, Suze. <laughs> I fucking love you. I love you more than anything in this whole world. Did that fan pop? Are you not so bad yourself? All things considered. Marry me. You what? I'm serious. Marry me. I make beautiful wings. I want to spend my whole life with you. Just like you. Thank God for that. <laughs> She's got your eyes, though. <laughs> My dad's eyes. I'm sorry, cuz. I know you'd have wanted him to meet her. Nah, fuck him. The bastard wasn't interested in me. Why would he care about her? You love Jenny's way, cuz. I'll never leave you, Suze. I'll be at your side forever. And I'm always going to be here for this wind. Well, this is not the rig. Sue's sleeping peacefully. That's mildly disturbing. A little reminiscent of fleshy nonsense. The winds. artwork from the Wayans, which if you have any Wayans of your own, you have to keep their artwork forever. It's just, it's part Guess of the Just the Wayans for me. Tell them I'll be back for Christmas. I'm sorry, Suze. Hey, Cass. I'm sorry it's been so hard. Just wanted to send you this. To say we'll get through it. I know we will. Just take care out there and bring my beautiful big gallus man back home in one piece, okay? I miss you and I love you. And the girls miss and love you. I'm still raging at Roy, but he's a good man and I know he'll look after you. Whatever happens, we will be all right. We can weather this. Just wanted to say that to you, Kaz. To keep you safe and close and make sure you know to come home to us. I love you, Cameron McCleary. Be safe out there on those waters. My man. My love. You're a 
Jut von Taschok, hat ich kas mich hier nicht Noch kun warai, smish for 
करते Production babies and dogs, but no production cats. That would still wakes the dead. And it will sit with me for a while. That was an interesting ending. It was good fun. <coughs> the fact that the final shot was Kaz leaving Sue's. And then what seemed a much nicer version of the letter he got at the start. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Particularly my terror at the uh, prospect of drowning multiple times. I will be back. And there's plenty more, of course. For now, farewell. <laughs>